well, well, well. Do I have some news for you guys watching this video? Do I have some news for all you Brandon and Jackie fans watching this video? So, you guys know me, I'm on TikTok, okay? It's a normal, regular ass day. It's a, what's today? It's Wednesday. It's a normal, regular Wednesday, you know? Scrolling through TikTok, you know, doing my thing, scrolling through my For You page, seeing what's up, what's new, and I look at my notifications, and it, and it says this. I look at my TikTok notifications, and it says 99 plus notifications. Okay, I know I have 5 million subscribers on YouTube, you know, I know I got a little bit of clout, but 99 plus notifications, your boy's not that popping. Like, you know, I'm not, I'm not Mr. Beast. So when I saw that 99 plus on TikTok, I was like, yo, something's up. Something is happening in Brawadis' life that everybody on TikTok, 99 plus TikTok people know about, but your boy doesn't even know about it. So I start getting a little bit confused. You know what I mean? I click the notifications and all the comments are looking like this. Let me show you guys, hold up. There's one right here, it says Jackie. There's another comment right here. It says, that's all Jackie. If you know, you know. Here's another comment that says, get this boy Jackie. Now I'm sitting here confused as f Me and Jackie, we haven't talked in like over a year. Me and Jackie, we do not communicate with each other. We're exes, bro. So when I open TikTok and I start seeing all these comments, I'm, I'm sitting here confused as f I'm, I'm low key stressing out. Jackie this, Jackie that, Jackie, Jackie, Jackie. Why is everyone commenting Jackie? Like, did Jackie leak one of our tapes? Or like, did Jackie hook up with Devin Booker? Like, why is everybody commenting Jackie? So I'm, I'm like low key stressing out. I'm confused. I don't know what's going on. Like I said, me and Jackie, we have not talked to each other in a long ass time. So I randomly opened TikTok and it's all these Jackie comments. Your boy was stressed. I didn't know what was going on. So I click on where all these comments are coming from and let me show you guys. Okay, so there was this trend going around TikTok where you're supposed to post pictures of what you looked like when you were in a relationship. So here are my two pictures, her boyfriend, one picture, Two pictures. Okay, this is what I looked like when I was in a relationship. You're supposed to post those pictures and then how the trend works, you go her boyfriend and then next you're supposed to post pictures of how you look after you guys broke up. So it goes her ex. So there's pictures of me after the breakup, you know? Again, it's a trend. That's what I looked like when I was dating somebody. Then it goes, so what you look like after you guys broke up, okay? Yes, by the way, that's me. I know it's hard to believe, but this is your boy, Brandon, AKA Bravadis. I know I look different. Can somebody say glow up? But anyways, back to the Jackie comment. So like I said, I open TikTok, everybody's commenting, Jackie, 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 Jackie. So I go to my comment section on this TikTok, right? I open up all the comments on this TikTok and look what we have here. The top comment, the number one comment with almost 3,000 likes is Jackie. And the comment says, I'm still going for the guy in the second pick. So I'm reading that comment and I'm like, yo, there's no way that's the real Jackie. Like why would Jackie comment on my TikTok? Me and Jackie, we haven't spoken to each other in a long long time we haven't texted we haven't called no facetime so when i seen this comment on my tiktok i'm still going for the guy in the second pick i was like yo there's no way this is the real jackie like so i clicked the profile like look i don't follow her i didn't know it was the real jackie so i go and i'm like okay let me see click on a tiktok yup that is jackie for those who have been watching my videos at any point in the last couple years you guys know that is Jackie. So I go back to the comment and I'm like, yo, I'm still going for the guy in the second pick. And you know, everybody in the replies is going crazy. Mama Rug would faint of happiness. We need a video with two of you guys. Jackie, come back to Brandon's channel. Oh, this person got deep with their comment. Okay, Jackie, we see you. No one ever can replace you. You are and always will be the best he ever has. We love you, Jackie. Oh, <laughs> that person really loves Jackie. And I feel like they hate me. So anyways, I'm sitting here and I'm reading the comment. You know, I'm reading the comment that Jackie left. And I'm like, you know what? You know what? Look, listen. I know Jackie better than anybody watching this video. I know Jackie better than anybody on this earth except her own mother. And I know what Jackie's doing. I know exactly what Jackie's doing with this comment. She's just playing a game. Jackie's just being toxic. Jackie didn't actually mean that she's still going for me. She's just letting her toxic side out a little bit. You know what I mean? That's how Jackie is. Well, you guys all know Jackie. She hasn't been off my channel for that long. I'm sure you guys watch older videos. You guys remember how Jackie is. She's a jokester. She's a prankster. So Jackie likes to play her games. She likes to have her fun. She likes to make little jokes here and there. But Jackie, oh Jackie, here's what you don't know. A game that you want to play, your boy could play the game even better. So Jackie, okay, 
I like this comment. It got everybody in the comment section going crazy. You did your thing, okay? I see you. I applaud you for that. But I'm about to one-up you. I'm going to play your game, Jackie. So you want to comment on my TikTok, okay? Because what I'm about to do, I'm about to pull a prank on you. I'm about to call Jackie. You know what? F*** the call. I'm about to FaceTime Jackie and prank her and tell her that I want to get back together with her. Jackie, I want you back. Prank. Hello. Yo, what's up, Jackie? Hi. Bro, long time no talk, long time no I, see. I know, I was just gonna say that. How are you? I'm chilling, how about you? I'm good. No, you look good. <laughs> Thank you. So, um... I'm gonna just keep it like straight up with you. I was scrolling through TikTok, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see the little smirk on your face. I feel like you know where this is going. Oh. <laughs> so I'm scrolling through TikTok and I get a bunch of notifications. I get tagged in uh, a lot of comments saying your name, which I thought. What? Hey, what can I say? So I went to my TikTok and I saw your comment. Okay. Yeah, I saw your comment that said something along the lines of. I'm still chasing the guy in the second pick. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know if from your end, if it was a joke or if you were just, you know, kind of messing around. I hope it wasn't a joke because I didn't take it that way. I took it in a more serious note. And when did you comment that? Like a week ago, right? So that's why I haven't hit you up because I took this last week to kind of reflect and think about that comment. And um, I really hope you weren't joking about it because over the last week, I've thought hard about it and I. I do think that, you know, if you're serious about giving this a second try, giving our relationship a second go, I really think that it would work out. And that's something I would definitely want to try if you're open to it. Wait, it's so crazy that you called me. I'm not going to lie because I was thinking about calling you this week, but I was like, just really nervous. To calling me for what? Because I was like, just thinking kind of the same thing. Like, you know, I just feel like Jackie. we just get some time apart and then maybe just try it again. Wait, hold on. Um, uh, you were... I just like didn't know how to tell you, so. Wait, Jackie, no, wait. You were planning on calling me and um, saying what? Well, just, well, I just got too shy, so I didn't call you, but I just was thinking, like, I don't know, I was just thinking about you, I wanted to call and just kind of see how you're doing and maybe give it another shot, I don't know. Um, I, <laughs> uh, and obviously not... You don't have to get awkward. No, I'm not getting awkward, like, but obviously in the most respectful way like i know we don't talk as much as we used to but obviously i still have respect for you in the most respectful way and me obviously not trying to be rude i, I mean it's i'm gonna come off as a asshole when i say this but like i thought your comment was a prank like you were just messing around so i was literally got my camera and said that I was gonna prank you back and say that I want to get back together. I didn't know those were your feelings, but like you filmed me just now. I was filming you, but if you don't want me to use it in the video, I won't put it in. I didn't know you felt that way. I mean, I just confess that I I wanted to try this again, so maybe like don't put it in the video. No, I won't. I won't put it in the video, but like I just don't want you to like I. It was just a prank from my end, but I didn't know those were your feelings. So now I feel like a massive like douchebag and I apologize. I should have never called you. Dude, I don't, I just didn't know you felt like that. So now I feel bad for even calling you and doing this, getting your hopes up. And so just forget I ever even called you. Don't worry, I'm not gonna post this on YouTube. Like, I'm not uh, like, I don't know, bro. I don't even know what the f just happened the last five minutes, bro. But I mean, I hope you're doing good. I wish you nothing but the best in the future. Can I tell you something? Not if it's more confessing love, because I don't know, like I'm literally freaking, look at this, bro. I'm literally sweating, like. I... Can I tell you something else, though? Sure, Jackie. I'm not dumb, I, I know you. You haven't called me or talked to me in over a year. 
and you think I'm dumb enough to think that you're gonna just out of the blue call me and tell me you want to get back together like I'm not that dumb obviously I knew it was a prank guys my prank failed it was so obvious. Like, I don't know what you think, that I don't have a brain. I know you like the back of his hand. So, Jackie, so you knew I was pranking you? 100%. Why would you <laughs> pranking you? Well, then, I mean, in that case, do you want to say anything to the viewers? Yeah, guys, tell him to stop pranking me because I'm too good. I always know when he's pranking me. There's no way you knew I was pranking you. 100%. Brandon, you would rather die before you tell me that you want to try this again. <laughs> Bro, did you guys miss Jackie? She hasn't been on the channel in like over a year. Tell them I love them. Guys, Jackie loves you guys, okay? I love you guys very much. On that note, Jackie, I need to go, bye. Okay. <laughs> but wait, 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 before I go, before I go for real, give me a go, sons! Go, sons! <laughs> All right, brother, I appreciate you. Um, All right. Thanks for pranking me during my own prank to you. Have a okay. good night. Bye, son, or goodbye. Peace. Bye. Hey, on a side note, the fact that Jackie fell for this guy, the fact that Jackie started dating me when I looked like this, that girl needs to donate her brain to science because you, you gotta be in the head to fall for a guy that looks like this. And not to mention, I did not have no YouTube channel at this time. The money was not there. I had no followers. I didn't have a YouTube channel. So the fact that Jackie willingly fell for somebody like this, Huh. There can only be one explanation for that. I must have a huge dick.